Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers Edition. And I have just now decided that I don't care what episode number it is anymore. I don't need to call it out. If you're really curious, you can just look at the video title, right? Ah, <sighs> what a silly thing to have worried about for 40 some odd episodes, eh? Alrighty. So, we need to find our way into... Fort Dragonia. And I swear it was in through here. I just, I'm so confused. Oops. Oh my gosh. Was it really that easy all along? I must have been really tired last time I recorded an episode because I remember coming into Mount Pyre and just like struggle bussing. Okay, well, here we are. Um, uh, yeah, okay, I've already done all that. Man, we even came back here and picked up Draggy earlier. I really, really should have remembered this. Well, hello, dark me. Heh, <laughs> so you finally made it. But this is as far as you'll get. It's a little too soon for you to get your original form back. You wanna bet? Let's see what we can do. You know, I probably should have switched out Janus for a white element user and equipped the black plate. That might have been a really good idea. But I'm just not that prepared, I guess. <laughs> so be it. It's really not that big a deal. Oh, hey. It is time to pillage see what we can get. There's supposed to be a rare steal from this guy if I understand correctly. What do we get? Ah, uh, we got the trashy tiara. That's not the rare steal. Oh, hold on. Janice needs element levels. Hum, what shall we do? I see a little bit of blue on the field from my pillage, so maybe start building up blue. See if I can't get a nice heavy hit in from one of Fargo's high level techs. I should have started out with lower level blue, but oh well. This is the guy I've been wanting to fight for like 20, 30 episodes. Like, uh, I was too eager, too itchy to get into the fight. Uh, okay, that was a respectable hit, I suppose. Also busted up my field element. So for now, we'll go into rebuild everybody's element mode. Gonna have Fargo do some physical attacks just to get stamina back on Lynx and Janice. Janice is gonna need some healing, looks like. Okay, I got you, Janice, don't worry.
Everybody could use a good heal right now. So let's do that. Okay. Now then. Hmm. Some red. Didn't see that coming. Oh, goodness. That was quite a hit, actually. So much so that I think I'll go ahead and heal all again. Okay, let's use Fargo's physical attacks to get stamina back on everyone. Now we'll use Lynx's physical attacks to get stamina back on Janus. Janice's physical attacks to get some stamina back on. Back on. Did I, have I been saying Lynx? Goodness, I sure meant Surge, not Lynx. Hmm. You know, now may be the time. to start building blue, but it also might be good to bide my time. I've got the element levels for it though, so let's let's, let's do it. Um, HP is looking decent at the moment, and I've got plenty of recovery spells. Elements, excuse me. Spells is just such a default word, I end up using it even when it doesn't necessarily apply. You know, in a game like this, where there's elements instead of spells. I still say spells. Okay, now we should be able to go to Lynx. Surge, excuse me. And use another blue element. Fargo's turn? Yes, very good. Alright, this isn't a particular like, oh I need to use invincible or I need to use blue, it's just like what I felt like doing more than anything. Only 184. Ah, man. In that case, I think maybe we'll build up a red field next. See what we can do with Janus. Before that, though, we're going to have to heal up. See, this recover all is, yeah, all allies. A single ally. Single ally. Single ally. Hmm, okay. How about... No, off the element grid, please. Over to Fargo. If I recall, you have low res and numble, but he's not that evasive, so... Let's just slap a low res on there. And... What else should we do? Eh, whatever. Just trying to go into negative stamina here. He'll take a turn, but I'll get a bunch of stamina back so I can really build up those element levels. Oh! He's not looking so good. 
which is good news for me. Oof. Didn't get back nearly as much um, stamina as I expected to. It's okay, we'll make it work. Time to go all in on the damage. Good skills only, everybody. We gotta do this hard and fast. Okay, yeah, target surge, that's good. You won't do as much to him. Sweet. Okay, we're gonna be just fine. Now, unfortunately, I got the trashy tiara instead of getting the good steal from him, but that's fine, I guess. Uh, get a growth level, always good. Nice HP boost for everyone there. Heal all the way up. Perfect pen dragon sigil. Impressive. I may have underestimated you. Oh, we get a PSN trophy. Sweet. Anyway, I must get on with my affairs. Besides, it's too late. Goodbye, Surge. See, he calls me Surge. I am Surge. I must be Surge. I feel like an early 2000s Coca-Cola product. Is it here that I present? I know I'm supposed to use this... Um, Dragon tier in here somewhere. It's not here. What did I? I saw a dialog box. Go up. There we go. I was clicking through too fast. Yes, a familiar looking area. Oh, nice. We can just go right to here. Don't have to go through all the loop de loops and, well, not loops, but, but the whole pathway, I guess, is what I mean. Don't have to go through that. Okay. Let's see. Well, the door's open right up. I'm expecting to run into, like, a barrier or a seal or something. Serge, you must proceed alone from here. You must see and confirm for yourself who you really are. Truth shall manifest itself once you believe in your heart. Yeah, all right. See you guys in a few minutes, hopefully back in my own body. All life on this planet was born in the sea. The life forms softly slumbered within the womb of our mother ocean. Until eventually they developed free will and were able to swim about the ocean freely. Then there came those that 
not satisfied with life in the water, looked up from the ocean floor towards the blue skies and dreamt of the feel of the land. Aeons passed before their preposterous dream became a reality, and they rose up from the seas onto the earth. The land became full of all kinds of creatures. Among these, the dragon lizards and the more evolved reptites thought they would reign over the earth forever. And for a long while, it seemed that they would. However, the unforeseen coming of the Mighty One from the heavens suddenly smashed their kingdom to pieces. The one known as Lavos, the Great Crimson Flame. Hey, we know that guy from Chrono Trigger. Well, if you've played Chrono Trigger anyway. Wielding absolute power, Lavos buried the dinosaurs, the kings of the land, in the space of a night. However, the timid apes who had lived hidden in the forests came into contact with the crimson flame that fell from the sky and evolved into humans. Perhaps this was not evolution, but transformation. Regardless, humans increased in number and filled the earth the fearsome progeny of Lavos, just like their progenitor, began to devour our mother planet. Am I melting? That that doesn't seem good. Oh. It's little teeny tiny search. As a father, I can assure you infants do not have that much hair. At least not most of them. Thank you, Left Arm, for keeping this channel PG. I mean, more than that, I got my body back. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is good. Right? Right? Okay, I got dressed before I walked out. Good. That's good. Surge! Surge! Surge, you have regained your identity without being led astray. Your eyes, which foresaw the truth, shall help you to regain your trust among your comrades. There's nothing we can do about the dragon tear. Its shattering does not come as a surprise. However, you also carry the fate of the dragon tear from another world. The broken pieces of love and hate. Although contradictory, they are two sides of the same coin. A mysterious force which may come to light when the two pieces are united. 
Perhaps this force will be the legendary Chrono Cross. The only problem is, the shrine, which is said to give life to the Chrono Cross, is nothing but a cavern inside Divine Dragon Falls. Surge, you may hold the key to bringing forth its powers. The dragon tear shattered but transformed into the tear of love. Which, I've got the tear of hate. So I think we need to go to that uh, cavern. I think that's that's the play here, right? Let me just check on my time real quick. Uh, how are we doing? We're at about 20 minutes in? Okay. There's at least a little more we can do. Let's see, what was the way out? Was it this way? I never remember this place. I'm pretty good with remembering like maps and caves and dungeons and stuff in video games. But for some reason, I just cannot remember where anything is in Fort Dragonia. I'm not here to say, ooh, ah, that's part of the game. Ooh, you know, sense of mystery. No, I, I'm just being kind of thick headed. <laughs> I suppose it's pretty cool dungeon design, actually, if you, as the player, can't remember something, like, it does make it mysterious, right? Or am I just trying to justify my forgetfulness? I don't know. Oh, before we get too far, uh, I wanted to take a look at... Oh my gosh, I'm glad I looked, because Serge did not put all of his clothes back on. Oh my, um... Let's see, we're at 88%. So both of these are downgrades over the stone one. The silver one is also a downgrade. Okay. A uh, stone mail should be okay. Oh, the plate is not an accessory, it's armor. Interesting. Cool. Okay, now I know. So, first of all... I always like to put the most recent helmet on everybody. So show me stone helmet. Here's the Pendragon sigil that I was going to look at. Changes weapon element to that of last element attack received from low to high level elements. That sounds like something I don't want to mess with because there's other more straightforward accessories I can use. Um... Like, yeah, let's just go all in and make Surge a Chrono Dragoon, just like me, right? Whatever. Uh, that's good enough for now. I've said it before. Uh, I'm not looking to, like, optimize this game or min-max or anything, or even be completionist. I uh, just want to do whatever I need to do to get through the game like I'm sitting on my couch in 2001 playing this on my PlayStation X you know the original the clunky the big old square beige yeah okay now she said something about a cavern but I'm not quite sure where that's supposed to be um Let's see here. Forbidden Island, right? The Bend of Time. That sounds promising. Was it... It wasn't this one, was it? No, that's not the Forbidden Island. Oh, it's this little guy down here. Guess I can't land on that one. There's a current there. I feel like I want to go around being, uh, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Inquisitive? Asking people, excuse me, sir, do you know where Forbidden Island is? 
I'm supposed to go there. Yo, I don't know where that accent came from, by the way. I live on the west coast. Uh, the northwest of USA, a little more specifically. So I certainly don't have any kind of accent like that around here. Let's see. Okay, so I guess this little island with puffs of smoke coming out of it is... Oh, all I had to do was tap X. Hey. Also, come and think of it. Um, I'm supposed to have... Oh, wrong menu. I'm supposed to have Riddell with me, right? to get hmm. yeah there we go to get a certain something that I need um so let's do a quick setup for Riddell oh surge is hang on a second I just noticed this that's Lena does that mean and there's Greco and Van and Pip, I got everybody back. Oh, cool. Poshal, yeah. How did I not notice Poshal? And Korcha? All of my allies are available again. All of them that I've picked up. Sweet. Oh, that really expands the roster. Sorry, Sneff, I'm still never going to use you. Or you, Poshal. Cool. I'll have to do some... Uh, Looking around later and see if there's anybody who's worth um, changing to. For now, though, we need to go to allocate some elements. First of all, let's find our friend Janice and yoink all of her elements. Then we'll put some stuff on Riddell real quick. Uh, Reorder healing the supplemental first. Um, at level one, I like to do. Oh. What? Oh, right. The numbers over on the right are how many I have on hand, not the level. Cure. I can put cure plus on three. Heal on two. Heal all on four. Um, Purify is a good one to put on level one because it just does one thing. You know, it's it restores all status effects. So like, who cares if you're if you've got a minus three? If you have status effects, this just gets rid of it. It's like the buffs and debuffs. It's fine to have on level one, as I understand it. Anyway, feel free to correct me in the comments if that's wrong. Um, oops, no, 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 don't want that one there. I want level three or a cover all. There we go. Okay, now she is white innate, so let us put on some white skills. I'll start with the photon ray. And another photon ray. And then a black skill. And a red skill. Okay, over here. Hmm. Put on some white skills, and oh, you know what? We don't need to use black skills anymore, huh? Because uh, Surge is back to being white innate. Okay, I just remembered that. So this I can swap out maybe for 
another red. And red. And on level three now. So like level three. Um, level three. What's the red level three? Fire pillar. Four. So like meteor shower, then photon beam, and maybe like a photon ray, and then a red skill. And then over here, let's put just some red skills, eh? Yeah, no white skill. Then here we can put some more red. We're on six now, so... Uh, volcano can only be used if your innate is red. So I've got like an inferno, or two, and a fire pillar. And then like... Uh, inferno and magma burst. And then all the way over here on eight, Saints. Good enough for rock and roll. That'll be a quick and dirty setup, right? Okay, um, we're just gonna auto allocate for Sergi. There you go, buddy. Um, we'll cross our fingers that that's good enough for now. Whatever. I'll set it up between episodes. I don't want to waste a whole bunch of time. Check my timer again here. We're at 32 minutes. Okay. So. Let's keep going, just a smidge. Um, oh shoot, equipment. Right. Oh, not Surge. Uh, Janice, I need your stuff. Okay. Riddell. While I'm not really planning to have Riddell in the long term, I'm still gonna deck her out for now. Oh gosh, what do I want to do here? Um, I should have a stone helmet somewhere. Yeah. All around is good and uh, you're definitely more of a magic attacker. So I think I had an item that increases magic attack. Magic ring. Doesn't uh, increase it by much, but I'll take it. Okay. Here we go. You know what? I just thought of something. It would be a real shame if I got into, like, a crazy hard boss fight or something in here, which I'm sort of expecting. Um, especially because I got a little hint from someone that I should bring Riddell. Uh, so we're going to do a precautionary save. This is not the end of the episode. This is simply a precaution. This is just a tribute. It's not the greatest song in the world. Okay. Yes? This cannot be. Are you... Dario? But of course you are. This is another world. You are alive and well in this world. Are you saying you know who I am? What did you say? No, this cannot be. Do you know this man? It's been four years since this man washed ashore, clinging on for dear life. Every day was a battle between life and death, but miraculously he made it. However, this man has no recollection of his past whatsoever. Yes, Dario, you do not remember me? I may be the Riddell from another world, but 
every day I have always. And yet you do not remember who I am? Riddell? That name moves my heart. I have a feeling I've lost someone very dear to me. Forgive me, I just cannot remember. If only there was something to reawaken your memory. Yes, I know. Your mother's memento, which you gave to me. That may help you remember. I believe that was... My father could not stand seeing me in sorrow, so he stored it safely away in a secret treasure vault inside Viper Manor. A secret treasure vault? Where exactly is it? It is in a room inside the East Tower. You can access it from the second floor. Um, did I have something like that? I want to say that I did, but... I don't recall. I might be thinking of the Garai keepsake, which is not what we're looking for. <laughs> Maybe I'll just bonk him with the Hecran bone. Give him a good knock on the head, see if that works. Wouldn't be the Einlander, would it? No. Okay, well... Maybe we'll go looking for that next time. This feels side questy. I don't know if this was even where I'm supposed to go. So... We're going to wrap it up here. It's a good episode length, I think. Uh, a little bit of confusion at the end there. Thanks for bearing with me. Um, but yeah, I'll look into what it takes to do this side quest. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just uh, go to Viper Manor and see what I find on the second floor East Tower. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. It really helps out. If you didn't like it so much, please leave a dislike and let me know what I can do better with a comment. Uh, if I completely messed anything up, as always, let me know via comments. Um, there's a person who keeps saying that Janice sucks, and you know, you may be right, but uh, I enjoy her attacks. I think the carrot thing is hilarious, so I'm going to keep using her for now uh, until another character comes along. If you are wondering why I keep using Janice, it's literally just because of the carrot. I find that very funny. Um, sidetracked. Anyway, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. I upload episodes of Chrono Cross every Monday and Wednesday, and on Fridays I do Dragon Quest Builders too. You know, if we're getting close to the end of Chrono Cross, that might change soon. We might uh, move on to The Legend of Dragoon, another fantastic PS1 RPG. Anyway, if that sounds like your cup of tea, please consider subscribing and ring the bell for notifications when I upload a video. Other than that, once again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a good one, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.